What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm going to share you this OnePlus 7 Pro 5G GSI for almost any of the devices that you have. So again, I have installed this GSI on my Redmi Note 7 Pro, Redmi Note 5 Pro and the MI1 and it just works flawless. Like pretty much all the features that you need in your daily life just work great. So again, as I told you before, the devices that I tested were A only, AB and the system as root phone. So again, tested pretty much works great. And then again, I don't actually still recommend this ROM as a daily driver. It's just a GSI to just check out the features of the OnePlus 7 Pro 5G, whether if you are trying to upgrade to it or just want to check out the latest of the Oxygen OS. So again, let's just take a look. If you have seen my OnePlus 7 Pro port videos, it's basically the same thing. It's OnePlus 7. So again, you get pretty much everything like the Zen mode or the screen recorder. Everything is present over here from the bottom to the up. Like literally it has everything. This GSI is packed. Again, if you go here, you have the screen recorder with the in-device audio. So you can just record your gameplays and stuff with the game audio, which is just again amazing. And the quality of the recordings is just like great. It doesn't even drain that much of your CPU. So again, you can game with it which is again amazing. So again, just going through the apps, this is one of the smoothest ROMs that I've ever experienced on this phone. Like literally there are many auction OS ports for the Redmi Note 5 Pro, but this is by far the most smoothest. Like there is no hiccup, there is no delay. Like all the gestures just work on point. Like literally look at it. There is like no delay. I mean, you have to watch this video in 1080p 60fps. It's just so butter smooth. There is like literally no delay. Like look at it. It's almost like hypnotizing, but uh, let's just clear out everything. But then again, it is a very bare bones ROM. So it doesn't come with any kind of wallpapers, camera or the gallery. So you can also install these things after everything has been done. So directly hopping on to the settings. So over here again, the app opening speeds are phenomenal. Going to the display, you have all the features like uh, screen refreshers and the resolution, which don't actually work like, I don't think it switches to Quad HD. Yep, that has been completely removed to just avoid the bugs, but you can still explore them. You also have the screen refresh rate video enhancer which I still think is broken or just only works in the OnePlus gallery. Then again going to the ambient display, ambient display does actually work. So you also have the clock styles and stuff over here which does actually pop up when you have a new notification with the side glow for the curved screens that the OnePlus 7 Pro has but this thing does really depend on your vendor. So again if your vendor just doesn't support it or your device it won't actually work. So again, I have it working on the MI1. Don't know about the Note 7 Pro or the 5 Pro. Again, you have themes over here. You can just pick out any color for white and black theme. If you go to the sounds and vibrations for the Note 5 Pro, the Dolby Atmos slightly works. I mean, it works. Even the style preference works on the headphone jack, which is just amazing. For some devices, it just stays over here, but both of the headphone jack and the speaker just do work great. But over here, the effect is not that massive. You can actually just feel a bit of a difference in bass and treble, but not that much. So again, going back, you have buttons and gestures. Over here, you have normal gestures like quick activate assistant app. Then again, you are one plus gestures like recent apps, back, home, pretty much all the stuff that you love. So again, if you go to the security and lock screen, you have fingerprint scanner working over here. Again, face unlock will not work. Like literally it will never work. It needs chip level encryption in order to store your face. So only one plus phones can do that. So again, if you want the face unlock, you have to actually enroll a pattern go to the smart lock and use as a trusted face, which I don't actually recommend. It can be fooled by a photo. So again, going down, you have utilities. In utilities, you have gaming mode. Gaming mode has fanatic mode. Yep. This is the newer OnePlus thingy that they renamed from the OnePlus 5T. So it has game process regulator, advanced DND, network enhancement. Well, this does really work great. It really brings down the ping in PUBG. Then again, going back, pretty much nothing. You do have some advanced features like disable automatic brightness or gaming display enhancement. So it improves the shadows, but really depends on your device. Then again, you have quick reply in landscape, which now even Xiaomi has, but it even works in portrait, which is just like it opens the apps in half, which are just supported over here. Like literally not even the auction noise messaging app supports it. So yeah. And then going down, you have Fusion Stable settings, which are just GSI related. I don't recommend touching over here. And then going to the About Phone section, you have OnePlus 7 Pro 5G. I mean, the images of the 60 cause once you unify the settings app to just work with any kind of device, it just applies the 60 image with the specs, just none. So coming down over here, you have Android 9 Pi. Again, the security patch is June 1, so pretty latest. And then let's just get to the installation of this thing. So again, the prerequisites over here are an unlocked bootloader of your phone, a custom recovery like TWRP, a bit of a knowledge in installing ROMs and a phone with Android Pie vendor. Then you have to just find out whether your phone is AB or A only partition. You can download an app called 
ट्रेबल चेक इट विल टेल यू वेदर यूर फोन इज सिमलेस पार्टीशन और नॉट इफ इट्स सिमलेस पार्टीशन इट्स मोस्ट लाइकली ए बी नाउ देर आर सम फोन्स लाइक द रेडमी नोट सेवन प्रो विच आई विल जस्ट शो द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑन विच आर सिस्टम एज रूट सो अगेन इफ यर फोन इज सिस्टम एज रूट विच इज द न्यूअर पार्टीशन ऑल्सो कम्स विद द पिक्सल थ्री ए यू हैव टू ऑल्सो डाउनलोड ए बी जी एस आई सो लेट जस्ट गेट इंस्टॉलिंग सो अगेन ओवर हियर आई हैव अ रेडमी नोट सेवन प्रो and the vendor preferred over here is probably the one with comes your phone so again on the redmi note 5 pro i had the latest china beta pi vendor over here i also have the latest china pi beta vendor now if you only have custom vendors from the custom roms again you can use superior os or mac os p those also just work great just go to wipe advanced wipe dial we cache system data not the vendor cause we do need it so swipe to wipe just like that now go to install select image and just extract the img from the zip you have to just do that on your pc so oneplus 7 pro 5g system image confirm to flash it's that dead simple once the jsi has been installed just swipe to unlock reboot system swipe to reboot there you go the oneplus logo now the booting speed really depends on your phone so just be patient and the redmi note 7 pro is back up in like under a minute so that really tells how fast this phone is but literally just just unlock this phone and get our things working you are pretty much done over here but if you have a notched phone like this like now if i just enter any kind of app like a play store app now it does really work great over there but if it doesn't actually fit to your phone like for example you have broader notch like the poco phone f1 just go to the settings about phone tap on the build number to unlock developer options go to the system and developer option scroll down till you find a dpi and set the dpi around to 420 or 400 which would be suitable for your normal phone usage and there you go the notch is bit picking out so again to fix that let's just go at the bottom and simulate a cutout just tap on any of them they are pretty much all the same and it will give you a taller notch now it may look a bit out of the place but if you have a notch this is the only fix like even if you go to the apps now it's a bit taller but seriously your phone is tall it doesn't really matter i'm going to fix the things with your wallpaper that you don't have any kind of live wallpaper so again if you want the latest live wallpaper from the oneplus 7 pro 5g you have to just download this apk it's around 300 mb just install it as a normal app there you go done then let's just fix the play services by installing the latest google play services for your phone done then let's just fix the ringer modes cause we don't have a physical slider Then, if you want the OnePlus camera, you can of course install the latest camera. But this doesn't really work great. Like this doesn't even have a proper working recording mode. So I really recommend to just use the GCam that is made for your phone. Like pretty much all the phones with Snapdragon processor now have a working GCam. You can also install the OnePlus Gallery, which is also available on the Play Store. You just don't have to grab it from anywhere else. Done. And then let's just go back to the home. So again, let's just realign the apps as they should. There you go. and as you can see oneplus 7 pro 5g wallpaper has been already activated now you can also go to the wallpaper tab and there would be all the live wallpapers now there won't be the red one which comes with the oneplus 7 or the 7 pro cause it has the 5g one like this one which is again amazing then let's just fix the ringer modes by going through the app request the permission just like that go back and voila you have fixed it so again just go to the edit tiles ringer modes and this will fix the issue whether you want to switch it to vibrate there you go vibrate silent or normal then going back your play services must not be fixed yet you have to actually reboot your phone now while rebooting you will notice that your phone is not turning off cause it's a valid issue so in order to fix that you have to just again go to the top recovery by volume up and the power button this would again take 10 seconds cause your phone is not really powered off mount mount vendor and system go back go to install and select oneplus 6 volt patch which just works on any kind of auction or sport confirm to flash now this fix doesn't really work on the ab partition phones it only works on the system as root or the a only but it fixes the annoying issue of not powering off or rebooting now once you go back to the phone voila you should be having the google play services completely working again if you go to the settings app you can also enroll your fingerprint scanner So again, go to the fingerprint. Just right over here. Next pattern. Next confirm. Done. Enroll your fingerprint at the back of your phone or wherever it is. 
let's just test it and it doesn't really work when the phone is not awake cause the OnePlus 7 Pro has an in-display one which is always active. It would really need to tinker your vendor so it just doesn't work in a GSI. So again you do have a in-display one which you can play with it of course or just fool your friends but you can just really tap the real fingerprint scanner and it just works fast like there is not even an animation I guess. It just directly goes over there. So again guys thanks for watching this was a quick little video of how you can turn any kind of phone with a treble partition into oneplus 7 pro 5g i hope you guys enjoyed if you found this helpful be sure to like and subscribe down there and see you guys in the next one peace